Be careful of what you're posting, right? Be careful of what you are posting. I'm going to tell you this. Police are watching over everything that you are posting. They are following it, right? And some people uh, will be flagged. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know what happens once you are flagged? It means that wh whatever you post, they will make sure that it gets highlighted. Or if need be, the, if the software works very well, whatever you're posting, it gets, um, it, they, they get a notification to say you have posted something. So they get to analyze each and every single uh, one of your posts. And you're saying, Bongs, where do you get that? Don't worry. I've got an evidence in front of me, right? The evidence has always been in front of you. But the thing is, maybe we have not paid attention. Maybe you have not highlighted this evidence. And that is what I'm about to do today. Also, I want us to talk about this, right? Um, a lot of people will post and uh, a lot of people will, 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 will like, for instance, um, when when accused number one get sentenced uh, or was found guilty on the 12th of December, right? A lot of people tagged Kelly Kumalo and Pe Kelly Kumalo began trending. So a lot of people will attack Kelly Kumalo on social media. I will tell you this. Um, there are actually <laughs> implications on that one, right? You need to be careful of, you need to be careful not to do that, right? And uh, let me expand a little bit on this concept of be careful of what you are posting because, wow, police are watching you. And also, the things that you are saying about Kali Kumalo, hey, guys, be careful of that. Um, there's another thing that I want to, to, I want to add in this topic, and that is some of you guys, you're not getting jobs. You, you, you'll be surprised that I've got these qualifications. I'm doing well. Uh, there's no reason why I shouldn't get this job. But you apply yet you're not getting a job. What if I tell you that it is simply because of the things that you are posting? What, what if I tell you that some of the, the, the reason you, your premiums are so high, it is simply because of the things that you are posting. So today I want us to talk about a lot of things that you are posting and how it affects you on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Are you interested to take this journey with me and look at how do you get affected by this? Oh, okay. There is also something that is really affecting me. And that thing which is affecting me is the fact that there are people who are watching my videos, but they are not subscribed. And that is really affecting me, right? I don't know how much it will take for me to convince them to subscribe into, into this YouTube channel because, you know, I deliver quality content videos, right? From audio to visuals and actually the actual content itself, the research, it's quality enough for people to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below. Watch the video until the end, watch the ads, share this video, right? It is quality enough to, to convince people to join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. It is quality enough for people, right, to donate to this YouTube channel. There's a button called thanks, you just scroll, you know what I'm saying? You will see a button called thanks, you donate from as little as 10 rand or 14 rand a month, right? Speaking about this being a quality enough, right? Let me tell you this, right? Um, I'm going to start with Kelly Kumalo. And I'm going to show you look, later on why I say police are watching each and every single one of the posts that you are making. Let's start with Kelly Kumalo. Um, guys, let me show you this. Have, do you remember at some point I said to you guys, they, they, look, there's something called, there's something called bad publicity is good publicity, right? So when you po whenever you tag Kelly Kumalo, you are creating traffic towards Kelly Kumalo's local social media. You know what it does? It means that you are creating, you are making Kelly Kumalo richer. But you're not aware of that. Ah, I know, you don't get it. Don't worry. I want to remove everything so that I can explain this properly. When you po when okay. Whenever you continuously attack Kelly Kumalo on social media, you know what, it, what you do? You are creating traffic. Now, she can take this traffic, right? And go to brands and say, look, look what I do, right? The only disadvantage at this moment is the fact that she's only surrounded by controversy. But there might be brands that are willing to take the risk and work with her, irregardless of the controversy around her. There might be brands. And let me give an example about it. You've, look, there was a, there's a brand, or you've seen other people canceling Kelly Kumalo, but we have seen this so-called Christian, you know what I'm saying, Christian um, organizers who continue to call Kelly Kumalo. So it shows that 
Um, I'm saying Christian because honestly speaking, you cannot call a person who will come and sing Jesus' song while naked. It doesn't make sense. That person is not a representation of Jesus. So you yourself, you are questionable. If ever you invite a person whose character does not represent what they sing about you, the fact that you saw it fit to, 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 to invite her, it means that you, your character is questionable. You, can, you can't. You can't bring something that in, in, in real life contrast what it, look, what, what the, the message of salvation. No, you can't. It shows that you yourself, you are far from salvation yourself. But that's beside the point. The point is, right? Um, so you have such people that are willing for the sake of money and all the stuff, they are willing to continue to, to, to be associated with Kelly Kumalo. So with that being said, for the fact that there is a constant traffic towards Kelly Kumalo's side, she can take that and use it to make more money and make more deals. So whenever you attack her, Think twice, you are either making her money here. Yeah. You might think when you are really attacking her, but you're actually making money. So I'm just showing you the other side of the story that probably nobody will talk about it, but I see it fit that we need to talk about it. The more we are talking about Kelly Kumar, it's the more we are making her relevant. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's a fact. It's a given, right? It only takes people who knows um, if she's got a, a company that is handling her publicity. It only takes people who understand that that um, they will take what is negative and turn it into positive. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Uh, that's why the last time she was trend, she trended uh, seriously after Togo Zimbabwe winning uh, the triple, right? Uh, she 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 used it. She she knows that. Uh, what, what 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 how to provoke you and because of that she she said things that will provoke you and you reacted and then boom she sold you her song i told you guys that what if, look don't think that when you attack her you are actually doing her or actually look defeating kelly kumalo no you're actually you, look whatever you are doing it look she can turn it and make it work in her in her favor so we are still under the topic that be careful of what you are posting. Police are watching your post. Now let me let me explain something. I once met with a person that works for a, one of the three, like one of the big banks in South Africa, right? I, where, look, I, I'm not gonna tell you the bank because obviously, yeah. I met with this person who works for this, and then this person said to me, um, "When you apply for a job, right? You you go there, you apply for a job." Uh, you would give us your ID. We, we don't need to know about your social media. All I need to know. I need to get your ID. Once I get your ID, I'm done. So when you apply for a job these days, depending on, like, if you're applying your, your jobs in banks, especially the serious positions, be careful of what you're posting. I'm telling you, be careful of what you're posting. So she says, I'll take your ID. I don't need to know. I don't need to have your, your social media accounts. I don't need to have your password. I'll take your ID. I will crack each and every single social social media the platform that you are in, and I will know exactly what you are posting, and I will bring everything that you are posting, and we'll sum it, sum it up. And she said the reason we do that is because if you are working in a position that requires you to 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 to, to have some or to be sewn into secrecy, so you are not revealing information that you are not supposed to be revealing to people. We will look at the things that you are usually posting. For instance, if you are posting things such as, ah, uh, I work sucks, this manager sucks, this, this sucks, that will be the reason enough for us not to hire you. That's what she told me. And I was like, wow, she's like, yeah, you will see, you, you can pass everything. But because of that, the things that you are posting on social media, that could be the reason why you're not going to get this deal. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get this job. Be careful of what you are posting, right? Somebody is watching you. Let, 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 me, let me move from just job employment. Guys, it is happening. People that, that These days, they are watching things that you are posting on social media. Be careful. Now, let's move to this one. I've got two stories that I want to make, or I make concerning this. There's a guy in Pretoria. He purchased, uh, he purchased a vehicle now. Nah? I think it was Master Three, the latest, though not the oldest one, the latest. I think it was 20, 20, 21 when he purchased that vehicle. All right, so he purchased that vehicle in twenty twenty one, and he paid the one third of the amount, which which means he was left with just a quarter of the amount. So if the car was two hundred thousand, he paid hundred and fifty thousand. 
he was left with just the 50,000 rand. He was hoping that, uh, including the insurance, he's going to pay an amount of probably um, 1,900 a month with the insurance. Guess what? With the insurance, he was, sub look, he was charged an amount of 3,900. Mind you, that's almost, that's an installment of a car actually itself. Then um, he, he moved from one insurance to another. And the most expensive thing here was an insurance. Until a certain guy said to him, listen, he, that guy had pity on him. As he was busy calling insurance, he met, look, he, he was lucky to talk to this consultant. And this consultant comes from a certain insurance that you know, right? This guy said, listen, okay, I hear your frustration. You are complaining and all the stuff. The reason why your premium, he's like, no, I'm going to tell you a secret here. The reason why your premium are so high, it's because you've been flagged over the things that you posted on social media. He says that he, he began to show him and some examples and say, on this day, there was a, there's a post of you, you posted alcohol on, on your Facebook. On this day, you posted alcohol. On this day, you posted alcohol. alcohol. Because of all these posts and many more others, you've been flagged. All insurance will give you almost the same premium. You're not going to get less premium because of the things that you are posting on social media. So not long ago, I was to, uh, there's, a, there's a lady I know, and I said to this lady, listen, I saw her, she's got some post of alcohol, and I said, you don't, you, you, at this moment, you don't have a car. The day you buy a car, you might live in, a, in, in an area that is good. Your license might, might, might be probably old. So you think that you, might, you are less of a high risk and all the stuff. But because of the things that you are posting, your premiums are going to go, go high. So one, I've shown you that one, um, be careful of what you're posting because you might not get certain jobs. Some of you are not employed because of what you are posting. Two, I've shown you how it affects your premiums. Things that you are posting, it affects your premium. But now, let me transition into the other one. Okay, I did show you, in fact, three, I did show you how you might make Kelikumalo rich by attacking Kelikumalo on social media, right? So, also when you do that, you need to be strategic. Because you think that when you are outpouring your anger to her and the frustration, actually you are making her rich. You know what I'm saying? So, three. Three things that I've said that you might do on social media and you think when uh, you are doing it you are do you look you are destroying kilikumalo whatever you are but you are actually making kilikumalo rich but let's look at the number four the number four has been in front of you be careful of what you are posting because police are watching every single thing that you are posting on social media police are watching exactly each and every single one of those things and you say bongs where do you get the evidence to back up what you, whatever you are saying well the evidence is in front of you and i can bring many more articles that will prove this point but i'm gonna need you to be patient pierre is suspended right he was suspended look at the reasons why she was suspended it is the reasons why she was suspended that will tell you or that will substantiate what i've just told you that police are watching you suspended police chief Riyak Piyaka stands accused of illegally, accu uh, illegally accessing a top secret interception file that allowed her to be let off the hook on criminal ch charges in, in May, uh, look, in, in 2018, right? This is detailed in an explosive affidavit seen by the Sunday Times that forms the basis of a new criminal, uh, criminal complaints laid against her last week of defeating the ends of justice and violating the interception law. The affidavit, uh, look, the affidavit was made by, Dominic, uh, by Captain Dominic Ndogozom a legal advisor in the um, uh, Police Crime Intelligence Division who... Uh, look, who um, Okay, who, 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 who did that, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, that is another article. The information is here in this article, right? But then, there is another information that I'm going to show you. That one was released by Isunday, Isunday World, right? Uh, there's another one that was re released by, e there's another one that was released by e Daily Maverick, right? The one with Daily Maverick, 
it's much more clearer. Have you noticed this one? They are talking about the interception, what, 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 and how Rea Re- Re- had in, look had, uh, had um, gotten certain file that allowed her, or the, a file that is so sensitive and so secretive that she was not allowed to access that file. And because of accessing that file, then she was let let hook of a criminal offense. But there's this one from a Daily Maverick. That is very, very, very important. And then it explains everything into detail, right? So I want to go into the one year daily maverick. Give me a few minutes as I do so. So the previous article that we read ne, was from A Times Life that we're talking about, to- or Sunday Times, sorry, that we're talking about uh, and uh, how they intercepted file. Now, I wanted you to have the idea of interception. Now, once you understand that interception, meaning, you know, if you're sending a message, I'm, I'm, Boaz Bongani, I am sending a message to Uduma, you understand? Then what happened in between is that there might be an interception of that message to check what is it that you are sending to this side? That's interception by definition. Do you kind of understand what I'm saying? That means when one is communicating to the other one, there's a meekly person who is unknown to them, who is secretly looking at these messages or calls. You know what I'm saying? Once you have that idea, let me, let me tell you, we're going to go back here. There's an article that was released by a Daily Maverick. Daily Maverick, they are one of my favorite these days when it comes to journalism, investigative journalism. Their investigative journalism is on another level. Daily Maverick, I, I salute them. Yes, in the way they write. Yeah, for me, they are number one. They do thorough investigations. Yo, man, I love their writing style. Yo, they, when you read their article, man, it just it says, read me, read me, read me, read me, read me, read me. Yeah, man, yo, I love their article. There was an article, the, there was an article, uh, with Daily Maverick that was, was written by U Vincent Gray Wagon, uh, Wagon, right. The article was released on 13 November 2023. Now, listen carefully. It's about a police officer that is facing criminal charges. Guess for what, right? For the same thing, watching over what people were saying. (laughs) But I'm going to go down and I am going to look. We're going to zoom into it and then you will understand what I'm saying. After not guilty SAPS disciplinary verdict, Major General Makele now faces criminal charges over 54 million doji tender. It is this tender that will tell you that they are watching over you, right? This tender will tell you that they are watching over you. Be careful of what you are posting. Now it says when crime, now listen, 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 pay attention to this. When crime intelligence was looking for a software to monitor the hashtag Fizmas for protest. Let me repeat this. When crime intelligence was looking for a software to monitor the hashtag Fizmas for protest, Major General Makosana sign off a key document that the tender appeared to be the uh, like, tainted by fraud and corruption but the police found that Michaela didn't necessarily agree to the bypass of uh, procurement protocols however she and her co-accused still have criminal case to answer first of all before we go a little bit further here we get this thing that okay during the Fismas fall people were protesting so in other words what they were doing there they were like, hmm, uh, we want to know what people are saying on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, or, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't end there. We want to know there are people that we, we reflect them as priorities, as our priorities in this one, or as high-risk people. We just want to know what they are communicating, who they are communicating with, what they are saying, and everything. So when you make that call, they are listening to it. When you send that message, they are listening to it. Well, you know what I'm saying? You get that idea here. You know what I'm saying? They are watching everyone. People who are student, look. The, the, the student leaders, whatever messages and communications that they are sending out, 
it is being monitored here and some people as well you know what i'm saying once you get that you'll understand where we're going but um so let me let me let me read this a little bit and then it's fine i will i will stop right i don't know why i'm feeling something here in late August 2023, a CPS disciplinary hearing found Major General Eknumakele not guilty for her alleged role in uh, approving two alle allegedly dodgy police tender involving just under 54 million issued in 2016. But Makele is not uh, totally off the hook yet. She has she's yet to respond to claim in a, a criminal case in which she and a former and a she and a former uh, National Police Commissioner, Komoto Patlane, and others are co-accused. Makele and Patlane, Lieutenant General, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Goffrey Mo, Loko Mekhau, um, Loko Major General Mina Obet Nemutanzala, and Business, uh, Loko Business, in the in 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 the nothing kiss ya and vendra naido faces charges of fraud corruption theft and contravention of the public finance management act f pfma relating to the procurement of a spa and ah, this is where you get it this is where you get it now listen listen in relating to the procurement of a spy equipment during the hashtag fees must fall student protest. So there was software that was spying out people. The the, there was a technology that was deployed to spy out people. I'm going to show you why this is, why I thought this is important. Right? Don't worry, we are doing a bit of research in this channel. So you, you might as well sit down here and enjoy this research because I'm going to show you again what happened during uh, July unrest. Do you care what I'm trying to say? Yeah. What happened during hashtag fees must fall, we then learned that there was, oh, look, what happened during the hashtag fees must fall, we learned that there was some spy software that were planted out there to spy out of uh, people's conversation and hear what people are saying so if there were spy softwares that were installed just like COVID 19 do you know that we during COVID 19 we, we we didn't necessarily have to consent to them installing that software everybody when you open your phone there was a software about COVID 19 there was an app or an application what was it there it was spying us you know what i'm saying it's a fact it was spying us there were there were some official spy softwares that were busy spying people right no problem let me let me go on a little bit here um, the police disciplinary hearing in August stands from uh, their arrest in September 2022 in connection with the 2016 tenders. Under scrutiny at the uh, local August disciplinary hearing was crime intelligence, um, allegedly illegally and irregular purchase of uh, two platforms. Uh, uh, look, it's called um, a RIPCHA, a, a social media monitoring platform and uh, D, you know what, DMLS, a mobile communication encryption platform. Oh, Dan Bongana, you finish it. You see here, we just cracked it. I, remember I said to you guys, there were softwares, right, that monitors any, the, the, the social media activities. Then there were encryption softwares that were planted to monitor uh, the communications. You know what I'm saying? You know, so be careful of what you are posting. Two. Now let me go back a little bit. These the names of these are right. The number one the, the number one platform that they purchased was a purchase of a two platforms. Raja, look at a Rapja, a social media monitoring platform, and D Dallas, a mobile communication encryption platform. Right. So 
Um, now, I'll tell you the price. I'll tell you the price. They bought the first one. One view integrated solution, which is owned by Kistia, was own, look, was awarded to co a contract. One valued at 33.86 33 million rand and another one for 20 million rand between August and, um, and, and 2000 and, and because between August and December 2016. Right. So now, I want to emphasize this. I want to emphasize this. Two platforms that were hired. One was to monitor things that were happening on social media. Uh, so every single thing that was happening on social media, it was monitored. Two, there was a software encryption that was uh, planted to, to, to do the encryption on a lot of things that was happening, right? I want you to understand that um, everything that you do, it is money. Be careful of the things that you are saying and posting, right? The number, the number, look, the other one that I want you to, 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 to remember. I want you to remember um, the complaints that people have about crime intelligence in this country, the intelligence department in this country. There was a question that was asked and the, it was asked by official people and they asked this question. They say, how come uh, the intelligence department did not pick up that there were people that were mobilizing uh, people about the, um, about the July unrest? And look, if you, if you can go back a little bit, you will notice that some of the things that were said there was like things were said on social media, right? Uh, so someone even said that there were some posts that were there on Facebook about this July unrest. In, and I'm talking about, when I say people, I'm talking about people in parliament who raised that point to say, how come the intelligence department did not want to, I mean, did not pick it up, right? So what it says then is that the intelligence department will then will look at all these things and be like, hmm, so we need to be uh, 10 steps ahead now. So chances are now, now that things are happening fast in this country, there's, there's killings and all the stuff. Um, there's uh, people that are shooting people in taverns. And you know what I'm saying? What, what do you think? The intelligence department is sitting there and be like, ah, no, the intelligence department is intelligence department. They need to be 10 steps ahead of us. It, it's a fact. And we can't deny that. They need to be 10 steps ahead of us. So, what I've done here, I've shown you that somehow your freedom of speech, you need to know what you are saying, though you have it, but you need to understand how to use it. Because you might use it and say, what are they going to do uh, um, with me? Uh -huh. The next thing you will hear police knocking at your door and say, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we are here to arrest you. Boom, here's a warrant of arrest. And then, they're, uh, 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 and then they're like, come on, we are arresting you for what you posted on social media. Do you remember what Ngizom Tun was arrested for? It was called an instigator, right? Just for things that he said with his mouth, he get arrested for that. That it gives you the idea that what you are saying, it is being monitored to, right? That, for the fact that they arrested Ngizom Tun for that, Though he ended up winning the case, but for the fact that he got arrested, it means that your freedom of speech, it's still, in a, look, it's, you, you, you must express it within a certain confinement. You can't just tweet what you like. It will have negative consequences on you. You can't, you, even if it's happiness, I've just demonstrated that to say, insurance companies, they are using what you are posting on social media. Your happiness, something that you can never get arrested for, right? They are using it now to determine uh, look how they're going to charge you on premiums. And they have created a system that is an integrated system, right? That um, they will charge you almost a similar amount of money. Like if they charge you 2000 on that premium, the, the cheapest probably you will get will be 1900 but all of them are around there. You know what I'm saying? Because they've got an integrated system. Once the system picks you up, picks it up that you are a high risk, it sends that message to all the other insurance companies. And you go to this one and they're like, I will charge you 1,900, 2,000, 2,200. 
over posts that you made on social media, right? You are looking for a job. You go to FNB. They say, um, um, we are sorry that you are not going to employ you. They will not gonna tell you the truth. Unless you persist, you'll find that, oh, it's over the things that I'm saying on social media. Be careful. When you are watching my videos, the, 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 the number one aim and my number one responsibility to you is to educate you about uh, real issues in life. That's why I'm going to open a podcast. In fact, I have a podcast. Podcast, right that's why i am I'm, I'm i'm interested in buying material by the way you need to subscribe you need to you need to watch my ads right watch the ads in this video because what it does it helps me to raise more money so that i can um so that i can get the material that i want the material that i want is going to be a bit of expensive one i know i'm off ramping but i'm going to cut back to that point right the, the material that i'm buying is going to be an expensive one right i'm going to give you an example the cameras that i want i need about the minimum of three each camera the minimum of camera that i want each camera will cost me 20 i checked it on take a lot it's around 23,900, some of them, right? Each camera, that without a lens, that without a, um, look, uh, without a lens, so I'm going to have to buy a lens separately. And then without a memory card, which is probably going to cost me 4,000 rand, memory card, I'm going to buy it, have to buy it separately. Then, um, three cameras, so you can say 24,000 times, times three, you get the amount, <laughs> right? It's almost 75,000, almost 75,000, right? And then I need to buy an, 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 an audio recording equipment. The audio recording, the audio recording, recording equipment, just the, um, it's called, um, it's called, um, uh, it's called Rodecaster Pro 2. Uh, it, I checked it on Take A Lot. It cost 22,000, um, 22, uh, 600 if i'm not mistaken that broadcaster alone the microphone the cheapest one it cost 2600 so i'm if look <laughs> so i'm gonna need uh four of those mics <laughs> right uh it's not a lot so i'm saying that's why i said that at a time the type of equipment that i need to buy it ranges from a minimum of 200,000 to um, to at least the minimum maximum of half a million range so you watching the ads you are just helping me to get to where i want in terms of that you donating to the channel right you are helping me to reach the goal that i want to reach which is to have my own equipment so i can record anywhere where i want like i've got interviews for look that i need to do a val there are probably six people that i need to interview about business and ideas um some of them are into academics some of them are into some of them are into business, so I need to interview those people. But I can't because of the equipment. I don't have equipment to travel to Val and interview them and then come back home. But okay, yeah, that's not where we are. We were, we were just talking about things that you are posting and saying on social media. It matters the most. And in 2020, going into 2024, I want, I want you to be well informed in this YouTube channel. I want you to be well equipped. When you or if you are following this channel, you must be at least 10 steps ahead than other people. Be informed about what is happening. You can't be losing your jobs just because of the things that you are posting. You might be playing a little bit harder, but because of the things that you are posting, you are not getting the job because of what you are posting. So be careful of what you are posting. Guys, I want to end the video here. I'll see you on the next video. But until then, please take care.